hi all welcome back to my channel pies purple so this is the new video on the deloitte interview questions so so let us start so this was the two question that was recently asked you know one of my friend who is having around uh, two and two years and three months of experience and he faced the right interview so this was the question that was asked to him now you're working the first question goes like though you're working on a data analysis project you need to analyze the data set containing information about various countries your task is to calculate the gdp per capita of these countries surrounded to the nearest integer then identify the countries with minimum and maximum gdp per capita and the gdp per capita should be calculated as gdp per population so this was the formula that was given so this is very easy question right only we need to you know uh, apply the formula and help get the answer we need to just apply this formula and round it to the uh, we used to the round function we need to use the round function right so i have created the sample data with country and some you know uh, sample population and the gdp of that country so i have written the code to create a data frame so let us just uh, you know visualize a data frame do you have to show so this is our data frame now let us uh, try to solve the question now our first uh, task is to apply the formula right now we will be creating new column do you have to with column and we can give it the name as gdp per capita gdp per capita okay now what we need to do first of all we need to let us uh, before we do let us uh, run some import statements from by spark dot sql dot functions import call and also we'll be needing round function right okay so these two functions we have imported now what will we do we will be first let us apply the formula the formula is gdp per population right so we'll be just apply the formula call gdp divide by call population i will just copy the column name from here okay now what we need to do we need to round this figure right round yeah i think this should be it right. and also we will be cast uh, this column as integer Mm, okay i think we need to cast this inside then it will work dot cast integer okay i think this should be it the next part will be solved in the uh, next question let me delete this so let me run this yeah it is not having any syntax error this is fine now let me do the df dot show So we can see the first question is solved. We can get the GDP per capita. Like for the country A, it is 60, and country B, it is 60. Country C, it is 50, country D, it is 80, and country A, it is uh, 60 again. Now, first task is solved. Calculate the GDP per capita of this country, rounded to nearest integer. As you can see with the round function as well. Now, let us solve the part two of this question. Now the part two is very simple and straightforward. We need to find the min GDP per capita. Okay, this will be df dot order by. We need to just you know order by the column that we derived. Okay, and get the first element out of it. Yeah, this should be it. Let us print this also. In the subsequent line, we'll print this statement and we'll be getting the output. Let us see. Yeah, we can see row country C population is now has the lowest GDP as we can see. It is 50 and the greatest should be country D. Nothing, I will just modify the code a little bit. I will use max GDP per capita. And this will be TF dot order by. 
this was very actually very easy question that was asked to him but still the question asked with the question asked in an interview uh, we will just order by you know, uh, descending not first okay i think we need to okay, let me run this No, so I'm not good by name. Okay, let me import this descending. I think descending is getting some error. What happened? You need to import descending also. What is some error? Let me go through there. Uh, column descending, the class column. Okay, maybe this, you know. Uh, Okay, sorry, sorry. I should be doing it as not like this. I got it. What the error, what the error is? Let me solve this error first. I need to solve it here. Call. Yeah. This should be like this. Auto by call. DGP dot descending dot first. Let me run this. Yeah. Now it got solved. Right. Because already I, I ran it twice. Okay, no issues. It will finish soon. I will just print the value. What we are expecting? We were expecting country D to be the highest GDP. Okay, the max GDP. Yeah, we got the GDP per capita as max. So this was the first question that we saw. Let me just you know uh, summarize it. So first we created a data frame. Okay then we printed it then we just applied the formula it was a very easy formula that was already provided in the question call gdp per call population and we casted as an integer then we printed the minimum gdp per capita then the max gdp per capita and yeah so this was the first question now let us solve the second question the sales team need to identify the months with the highest sales figure using the given sales data find the top three months with the highest sales total this is also a very easy question the output should contain the list of three months in the format of yym and dd so this was the month uh, this was a format that they want right with the respective total sales amount so this is a very easy question again so let us run this uh, you know creation of data set now let us visualize the data set as well so this is our year month year month and sales now first task uh, that would be our is the output should be list the output should be list the, the output should list the top three months in the format of yyymm so first let us you know uh, try to create this uh, column okay df dot with column and let me initialize this at df only df dot with column mm. what name we can give uh, we can give as year month okay and we need to concate this so we need to import this uh, concate ws function also i have already imported while i was you know trying to run this question let me import this again by spark dot sql dot functions import concat to ws okay concat with separator so what is the format of this uh, concat with separator function this is actually a very you know important function uh, from the interview perspective there might be you know some questions that you might face in which you need to use this concat underscore ws so the first argument is uh, in which you want to separate right so our format is yymm hyphen mm right yeah so we need to give the first argument for, uh, the separator right then we need to uh, give the second argument as uh, what you want the column to be joined so we want the uh, column year then we want the column month okay i think this is it uh, first let us visualize this whether this is our syntax is correct or not so the same column i will try to print that also okay 
right so we can see uh, yeah this is okay this was the expected format that we want right and now it is now very easy task just we need to you know uh, use the similar logic that we did here right and instead of first we'll be using uh, three like limit three we can use yeah okay so we can just stop three top three tasks right top three months in the format of yymdd okay so you can the very it is very easy top three is equal to df dot order by call sales no aggregation needs to be done because already the sales is aggregated right okay column sales sales to column right and we will be doing it as descending also uh, we need to do limit right not limit we can give three let me run this so this is syntactically correct and yeah it should be correct on your top three dot show it's okay so we can just you know uh, select the months that we want top three dot select the month we want is year hyphen year underscore month then we want sales you can just show this yeah this is the expected output i think this is it so that's all for this video i hope you liked it do share and you know uh, share it with your friends especially you are going to give the delight interview for data engineer in the upcoming days this will be really helpful for them and uh, please subscribe to my channel i will be creating more videos actually these days i was outside and you know i was busy with my current projects so i couldn't create much videos but yeah do support and i will try to create a video per week that's my promise for now yeah thank you bye bye